hello guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is tessie good morning good afternoon and good evening to you all depending on where you are watching from hope you all are doing well and thank you so much for stopping by you are creating what we consume you tomorrow or basanjo issues a very serious warning to president muhammad obohari's federal government yeah before we continue please if you're just watching for the first time or you've been watching without subscribing please do us a favor by clicking on the red subscribe button down below to subscribe also on the notification button and that way anytime we upload a new video they will notify you and i pray that the same way you all are supporting us here in this channel god will definitely send people that will support you in whatever you are doing in life in jesus name amen this news i read you are keeping what we consume you tomorrow by keeping our children at home obasanjo warns president muhammad obuhari's federal government the former president of nigeria olushegun obasanjo said that the federal government of nigeria is training boko haram that we attack the country tomorrow by keeping nigerian students at at home instead of them being in school learning he said the way the federal government is ignoring students today is a very dangerous thing that we affect all of us in the future if these students are not given the education they need today they will end up being terrorists who will start attacking us tomorrow the federal government should better find a way of sending nigerian students back to school now before it is too late the more you ignore this student and keep them at home the more evil ideas keep entering their minds obasanjo warned the federal government to do something very fast today because the students you refuse to send back to school today will become monsters tomorrow and terrorize you the faster the better obasanjo warned all right my people and that is it for you or a message from obasanjo to president mama the Bahari's federal government warning them that these children they are keeping at home today will turn out to become monsters tomorrow that hurt all of us and the truth of the matter is that the federal government of nigeria they know exactly what they are doing because i asked the question before how much is it that these people how much is it that this federal government is owing the asu that they cannot pay because for me i don't think that the money is just too big that the federal government cannot pay Remember, they know what they are doing they don't want the people to learn and secondly they are doing all of this because they know their children are not schooling here so they don't care if the students are in school or not because like i said before how much will it cost the federal government to clear the debt they are owing the money they are owing is it bigger than the money each of them receive every month is it bigger so there is no need to bother yourself because the so-called president will not pay attention to the strike because his children have all graduated from schools abroad and being who he is he does not even understand the importance of education because they don't go to school all they do is cattle rearing and terrorism they don't understand any other language apart from that language so how do you want him to start bothering about children being in school or not later they will say they will tell people that nigerian youth are lazy they don't want to work how will they work when the system is not working when the system is not friendly if they start protesting now they will say the youth are causing problem but they don't always know that they are the cause of the problem not even that they don't know they know that and they're not the one causing the problems they are the genesis of our problems the bad leaders they are our problems the students have waited enough already and i believe that some of them are even tired of the school already because this is not how things are done go to school one day stay at home for one year if you're supposed to graduate in three years time you will you will graduate in six years time what kind of nonsense is that now coming back to the uh, former president olushegun or basanjo with all due respect sir all of them all of you are to be blamed for everything happening in this country today because had it been you fixed this country the way it's supposed to be when you were in power i don't think that all these criminals would have would have the gut to be doing all this rubbish they are doing today 
but every one of you every one of them are just after their pocket you all destroyed this country the problem we are facing today in this country is not just that to uh, today it did not start with this present administration it started with the people before them they came to only worsen what they have created they started already before and that is how we get to where we are today as a nation just look at what is it called Femi Bajabi Amila, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, hosting himself, taking lecture in Harvard University in a time like this. Very insensitive people, yeah? very unreasonable people. We have our children for months now at home without going to school. A lot of people are even complaining that you people are sending your children abroad to study. Why the poor masses are sitting at home without doing anything? You left them at home. You send your children abroad with the stolen money, with all the money you have stolen from the poor masses. You use it to send your children abroad to go and study while we are sitting at home. So while we are still talking about that when some people are protesting, you, a leader, a lawmaker who is supposed to lend your voice, you went abroad to study and you're posting the, this thing uh, on social media. You want to become... A motivational speaker who are you motivating the same people you have destroyed their future you're telling them forget the the gray hair it doesn't matter when the system here is not working if the system is working why do you have to travel if the educational system here is good if it is working why do you have to travel abroad to take lecture you are there motivating the people that cannot even afford three square meal a day here because of the hunger and hardship that you people have created for the people here you are there saying if not for gray hair very shameless set of people so telling them to do something about it is just like pouring water on top of stone because actually they are benefiting from it they know too well that if they fix the educational system and you learn you come to understand all your fundamental human rights, they are in a very big problem. So those are the things they are avoiding. Those are the things they are shying away from. Not that they cannot repair this country. This country is blessed. This country and all the resources it will take to make it a better country, if truly they want. But these people, they are wicked. They are selfish. They are greedy. But <laughs> one thing I know too well is that they will never and they will never escape the wrath of God for all the evil and atrocities they have committed against humanity in this country. And that is it for you all. I'm just going to leave you all to share your thoughts with me on the comment section. And with that, I will say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Your love, support and effort upon this channel is not taken for granted. Let me know what you think and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.